So the topic that we're covering today is print and cut and what you see on my screen here are some mailing labels or labels that I put on my boxes that I'm shipping out with my website address in this cute little floral spray here. Um, I've already designed those and if you have any questions about that that can be asked in the group or if you want to leave a comment in the video um, I can try to walk you through parts of that. But um, what we're going to cover today are how to set up your page size, your registration marks, make sure your cut settings are appropriate for the material that you're sending through the cutter, and also printing these so that you can then cut the labels. Um, so the first thing that I want to show you are the registration marks, and you can see at the top of my screen I have these black lines and a black square with the hash marks, and then I also have it in the bottom left corner. This is your registration area, and this line right here, the red one, is your cut line, your cut border. So when you're placing your design on your paper and you've activated the registration marks, you want to make sure that your design is within all of these areas. It should not be touching these hash marks. Um, it should not be outside of this red cut border. Otherwise, it's not going to cut properly when you send it through the Cameo. Now, when you set up your registration marks, you want to go to your page setup panel, and the far right icon is registration marks. Now, they're probably set to off by default, and if that's the case, simply click on style and choose type 1 as your style and that's going to put them on your page probably a little bit different looking than what you see here but notice that you have the ability to adjust the length your thickness as well as the inset of those registration marks now personally I like to make mine as thick as possible so I slide that bar all the way to the right and I also make my inset all the way to the left depending on how many I have in there um, and you can adjust this by selecting everything. Oops, got a little bit of a lag here. If you need to do that, you can move it. And you also see that there's an advanced option arrow. And you can click on that to expand it and if you wanted to adjust the bottom inset up then you can go ahead and do that. Where this can be helpful is if maybe you're only printing um, one big label or you know one big design and you want to save half of that paper for another project later on you can adjust this higher to save that space okay I'm just gonna put mine back down okay you can see that it also adjusts your cut line here as well now once you have your registration marks set then um, what I like to do is just check my cut lines and make sure that everything is going to cut that I want to cut and nothing extra for instance if I did not want to cut anything in the middle then I would select it and then choose no cut but as you can see now my bold red line is only on the outside of the label and that's where it's going to cut only at this point now you can send it to print from either the design workspace by clicking your printer icon in the upper left corner you can do file print but you can also see that there's a shortcut. Um, if you're like me, I'm a keystroke shortcut person, so I would do Control P. And they're all going to get you the same screen that's coming next, which is pick your printer. Where do you want to print this? Okay, so you would pick your printer, you would click print, and then it's going to print out the design on whatever medium that you have, whether it's cardstock, paper, sticker paper. Um, printable vinyl so those are the things that you would feed into your printer it would print out it would have your registration marks as well as your design okay now I've already printed mine so I'm just going to go ahead and click cancel and now what you're going to do next is 
place your printed paper or whatever you've printed on on your mat and then load that into your cutter. So now what you see here is I have loaded my design on my mat. I have it lined up with the arrows and the lines here. This is the edge of my mat. Okay, and I'm getting ready to send it from the software and it's going to start reading the registration marks. And at this point, once you have that loaded, you're going to go to send. You're going to adjust or make sure that your cut lines are appropriately set like you see here in this example, the bold red. And then your material is going to be the most important piece here. What are you cutting on? So if you're choosing cardstock, make sure you're checking, um, selecting the right style. Now I created my own for kiss cut stickers. Okay, so you can see that it's set to cut. I always use a ratchet blade and then these are my settings. So my blade, if it's an older blade it's three usually it's going to be on a two and remember with a ratchet blade you're manually adjusting that if this was an auto blade what you set here for the blade depth is what the machine is going to automatically set for you so make sure that this is selected appropriately my speed just depends on how intricate of a cut that I'm going to do um, it varies between a five or a six for me usually on this um, and then the force because I'm doing a kiss cut um, a six is perfect it's just gonna cut the top layer of that sticker material or that label material and it won't fully cut through the entire label top or bottom or the backing of it and you only need one pass of that so when you're ready to cut you're gonna move down to the bottom and you'll click send. If you wanted to do a test cut, you can choose this test button here. It will do a test cut of a triangle and a square and then you can send it to your printer. Excuse me, your cutter. So at this point we would click send. And now it should begin to cut. Maybe. There it goes. A little bit of delay because of the Bluetooth. Okay, so now what I'm waiting for is this to say unload, and I'm going to press this button, unload my mat, and you can see that there's a faint cut line, there we go. and now I should be able to peel these stickers away from the backing of this. Perfect kiss cut stickers. Awesome.